What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and today we are going to be showcasing how to get the updated Year 3 Necrochasm reintroduced into Destiny with the arrival of the Age of Triumph content offering. I am one day late with this video, but I thought going for the quadruple upload yesterday would have been a little bit much. So in this video, we're going to go over every step and everything you need to know to get this weapon. So, on to the guide. But before we do, guys, if you enjoy this content and want to see more, please remember to support the video by liking, commenting, and especially sharing. It's a simple thing to do, but it really does help me out. So, how do you get the Necrochasm? Well, the first thing you need to do is just to get the Husk of the Pit, which is a special white weapon, like white rarity weapon. Now how you get the husk of the pit is by killing apparently any hive in the game. You can actually just get this from farming normal hive. I got a husk of the pit from farming hive in a normal story mission for my other husk of the pit, which is kind of funny, we'll explain that in a sec, but the most common way people are getting them is from the nightfall. It does seem that the husk of the pit has a higher chance to drop kind of from the higher tier hive enemies, and therefore the Nightfall right now is currently the Shadow Thief. So you can start it up and immediately engage some Hive. And once you deal with the Shriekers at the very beginning, you can work your way inside this complex and find a bunch of Hive to kill. Now eventually, in this circular area, you're going to find a couple of Ogres. These seem to have really high drop rates for the Husk of the Pit. Now, if you're watching this several weeks from when I make it, and this is not the current Nightfall, don't fret, you can again just kill any hive. People have gotten it just from killing knights in strikes. Again, I got it from killing normal hive in a story mission, just kill hive. But again, the higher tier hive and higher tier activities seem to have better chances to drop the husk of the pit. Now once it does drop, it's just going to be present as a white little circle on the ground, almost like you're getting a SIVA offering. You pick it up and yep, there you have it, the husk of the pit. As soon as you pick this up, it will start this exotic quest to end up getting the Necrochasm. Now once you have the husk of the pit, the next step is to upgrade this weapon into the Eidolon ally, and you do this by completing the Cannibalism Node. Now very importantly, the Cannibalism Node for a lot of you is going to be different than you see mine. Mine was to fill it up to complete this node by killing Thrall, and that's really all you do. I went to the famous story mission, the Dark Beyond, anytime you need to kill a bunch of enemies, this is the mission to do it in, because you can just kill a bunch of Thrall, die, respawn, and do it all again. And you'll see me in the background be doing that, just kill Thrall, kill Thrall, kill Thrall, and then if you check, the Cannibalism node has gone up. Now again, very importantly, yours might be different, and that's because this Cannibalism node, you can replace the word Thrall with the words Wizards, or Knights, or I think even Ogres. And then it gets a little bit more difficult, because if you get the Husk of the Pit with Wizards, you have to go out and farm Wizards. And there is nowhere near as easy of a way to farm Wizards as you're seeing me in the background farm Hive. So what you may want to do is to keep farming Husk of the Pits until you get Thralls. It is by far the easiest one, and it may take you less time to farm Husks of the Pit because they do keep dropping. Once you get that first one, you can still keep respawning in the Nightfall and keep killing those Ogres and keep getting Husks of the Pit. You don't just get one. So you can keep doing that until you get Thralls and then farm the Thralls to complete the next step. Just keep that in mind because if you get Knights and stick with it, it's going to take you a lot longer than Thralls, but again, it's no guarantee that you're going to even get a Husk of the Pit with Thralls if you keep farming them, so again, keep that in mind. In any event, kill the enemies that you need to kill and fill up the Cannibalism node. Once this is available to complete, you've done this step. 
simply go into your inventory, complete the Cannibalism node, and it will instantly upgrade to the legendary Eidolon Ally. Once you do this, you will have a new step to go and speak to the speaker in the tower. Once you do this, he's going to give you 25 motes of light, pretty generous, but that's really to upgrade the Eidolon Ally. He's then going to send you to the other side of the tower to speak to Eris Morn. Once you do this, she's going to give you the next proper step to go and get the Necrochasm. This step consists of three things. Firstly, traverse the abyss. Secondly, kill Crota. And thirdly, kill Omnigal. Now, traverse the abyss is really just complete the first part of the Crota's end raid. Killing Crota is complete the last part. So those two steps can really be condensed into beat the 390 light version of Crota's end. And it does say in the description that you have to do the 390 light version. So I believe you could either do the normal hard mode or you can do the featured weekly mode as it is right now. Killing Omnigal, however, is just killing Omnigal. I loaded up the level 16 Will of Crota Strike just out of the directory, and that still worked. When I killed Omnigal, this part of the exotic quest was completed, and then I just had to do the raid afterwards. So, there is no way around it. The next step is to do the 390 light Crota's End Raid. This makes sense. In the past, getting the original Necrochasm, you had to get the Crux of Crota to drop from killing Crota during hard mode raids, and it was a super low chance to do so. It was absolutely hell getting the Necrochasm for so many people. So thankfully, this is kind of done away with that RNG because after you do kill Crota, you've done that raid, you're simply going to go back and talk to Eris Morn. Now when you do this, make sure that you have one free slot at least in your materials. And that's because when you talk to Eris Morn, she's going to give you the essence of the Oversoul. This is going to be the final thing you need to upgrade your Eidolon ally into the exotic Necrochasm. And again, the Essence of Oversoul takes up a material slot, so just make sure you're not talking to her with a full material slot. In any event, simply upgrade your Eidolon ally in whatever method you choose. I just popped a ton of modes of light to upgrade it instantly, and once you have completely upgraded it, the final node requires the essence of the Oversoul that she gave you. And once you complete this node, it will instantly transform into the Necrochasm. And for me, it kind of made my inventory look a little bit weird. It was, it was weird. So make sure maybe you have a free primary slot as well when you were doing this. I had to quickly transfer something to my vault, switch weapons over, but luckily I still had my Necrochasm when all was said and done. Now as for the weapon itself, the Necrochasm is an arc fast firing auto rifle with a pretty unique exotic perk. If you get a kill on an enemy, it will explode just like a cursed thrall, damaging any other enemies nearby. Pretty good for ad clearing, I do say, and this week it is arc burn in the strike playlist, so it is a great time to try out this weapon. Overall though, don't expect this to be making any waves in competitive PvP. And so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Now if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. And especially press the bell beside subscribe if you actually want to be notified of new uploads. Now if you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at RickCacus. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.